kujiza twende imani upendo ni sauti itoshi kule imani upendo ni ujiza upande huu imani upendo ni ujiza How many of you enjoyed the message from Evangelist Evelina Smain last night? Wasn't that powerful? I greet you in the wonderful name. In the powerful name. In the name above every other name. The name of Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that He is Lord of Lords. Are you happy? My friends, I want to welcome you to the third night of this crusade. Bishops, apostles, reverends, prophets, leaders of the church. I want to say thank you so much for coming together in unity. I believe that this is the result of unity. This is the manifestation of the glory of God. When an entire city, when an entire city begins to shake like an earthquake, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't sit down, my friends. You know, I heard about another crusade that's happening here in Dar es Salaam. Actually, I think it was Kikamboni. Is Kikamboni bigger than Kimara? Is it bigger or smaller? Madogo. Madogo. But do you know what I heard? That when they said hallelujah, the stage began to shake. The towers began to shake. The trees began to shake. And I believe that even though we are a smaller uh, district, we can beat them. That even from Kimara, Kinandoni can hear us. So on the count of three, I want you to say the loudest name of Jesus so that Kikamboni can hear you so that even Kigoma can hear you that even Wanza can hear you all of Tanzania shall hear you shout the name of Jesus Semayasu you can do better than that say Jesus Semayasu Jesus If you believe this, come on, Amini. Shout hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Are you happy? You know, a big, a lot of questions I've been receiving from people here. To tonight, witchcraft will have no power in Kimara. Witch doctors will go out of business tonight. Juju has no more power. So even if you have come tonight for the first time, we have two barrels here up front. We have two barrels up front. We have two barrels up front. If you have anything that the witch doctor has given you. I want you to quickly run up front and throw it here. Because you no longer have to go home the same way you came. You no longer have to live a life of bondage. Because Jesus has come to set you free tonight. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. amen. We're going to break the curses over your life. We're going to break the curses over Doris. We're going to declare freedom in the name of Jesus. And thousands of you, thousands of you, are going to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. Say amen. Say amen. Now tonight, 
I'm going to talk to you about the blood of Jesus. I want to talk to you about the things, the four things that the blood of Jesus has the power to do. That blood tonight is going to bring your salvation. That blood tonight is going to bring your healing. That blood tonight is going to bring that miracle into your life. Say amen. So the four things that the blood of Jesus has the power to do. Number one, the blood of Jesus has the power to cleanse us. Say, the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Say, it cleanses us. In the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The blood of Jesus Christ, Christ God's Son, cleanses us from all sins. Say, All sins. It does not say that it cleanses us from some sins. It does not say it cleanses us from most sins. It does not say that it cleanses us from many sins. The Bible says that it cleanses us from all sins. That the blood of Jesus always does a perfect work. That when you receive it into your life, it will wash away every sin. Say amen. Say my amen. Now may, maybe there is a man here today. You would say preacher. You cannot say that to me. You do not know the life that I live. You do not know the places I have been. You do not even know where I was last night. I have done terrible things. Things that I cannot even talk about. But my friends, I have good news for you tonight. Jesus said, I have not come to call the righteous. But I have come to call the sinners to repentance. So tonight, if you are a sinner here, Jesus is going to set you free. The blood of Jesus can cleanse you. There is no sin too big. There is no sin too great that the blood of Jesus cannot wash away. Because the Bible says that he cleanses us from all sins. Here's what you need to understand. That in the book of Isaiah chapter 53. When Jesus died on the cross. It says as he was dying. To cleanse your sins. The blood that he shed. To save your soul from sin. That blood does something else. It also is for the healing of our sicknesses. It also is for the healing of the Bible says that by his stripes you were healed. It is God's will for you to be healed. How do I know that it is God's will for everyone standing on this ground to be healed? Do you want to know? How many of you want to know? I'll tell you. Whenever you want to know that are marked by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Number one, the blood of Jesus cleanses us. The blood of Jesus heals us, number two. Number three, the blood of Jesus protects us. And number four, the blood of Jesus purchased us. Say it purchased us. In the book of Acts it says this. That you were purchased by his blood. Did you know that you were purchased by his blood? When Jesus paid for you with his blood. He used the most valuable 
substance that he had. The most valuable substance in all the universe. It was not with shillings or dollars. It was not with silver or gold. But it was by his precious blood. This is why I can tell you tonight that by right, by right, you belong to Jesus. You belong to Jesus. You belong to Jesus. Turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Say so you belong to Jesus. Turn to your other neighbor. Say you belong to Jesus. Now point to yourself. This is about what happens after the 80 years of life you will live on earth. And either you will live with Christ in eternal life or burn in hell with eternal damnation. It is important. It is important. For some of you, this may be the last time for the opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Leave without giving your life to Jesus. Now, if you say evangelist, I'm ready. I'm ready to give all of my life to Jesus. I want you to lift your hand. If you want to surrender your entire life, lift your hand. Lift your hand. That blood is going to clean you. The blood is going to heal you. It's going to set you free. Every curse will be broken. Every generational curse will be broken. Your life will change from today. Your name will be written in the book of life. Your name will be written in the book of life. You will live eternally with Jesus Christ. My friend, if you say tonight, I want to give my life to Jesus. One hundred. Keep your hand raised. And together we're going to pray. And we're not going to whisper it. We're not going to whisper it quietly. We're going to shout it. We're going to proclaim it. That the demons in hell would hear. You can do better than that. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I come to you tonight a sinner. In need of salvation. Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I cannot save myself. But I surrender all to you. Wash me with your blood. Make me new from the inside out. Be my savior. Be my Lord. Be my master. And my very best friend. I now confess with my mouth. What I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come on, that Jesus is the Son of God. From this night on, Jesus. And 
Jesus belongs to me. Na Yesu ni mali yangu. I believe it. Nina amini. I receive it. Nina pokea. And I confess it. Na nina kiri. And everybody said, Na kila mtu aseme, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a round of applause. Jesus, we love you. Yes, 